I'm going to pretend to be like a librarian who does people's taxes. <laughs> um, no, my shit is so not together. I'm such a disaster. Honestly, I, like most days, I really don't even know how I get through life. I really don't. Really? Yeah, I just learned to do laundry this year. I'm 34. What do you mean? <laughs> I never did laundry. What do you mean you don't know how to do laundry? Well, growing up, my, my mom did my laundry. I'm not going to lie. My mom, I mean, I had to do chores. But my mom wouldn't let us do laundry because she was just afraid we'd fuck it up and we were poor. So she, I think she didn't want to buy more clothes. Right. And then I was married and then my ex-husband like loved doing laundry. It was like the, one of those things that like relaxed him. So he would always do it. And then when, I, when we split up, I had never done laundry and I was like, I don't really want to learn. So I just started taking it to fluff and fold <laughs> all my clothes. And then recently I was like, I'm spending 25, 30 bucks a trip to Fluff and Fold. I could spend like $5 to do laundry. I was like, I should learn to do laundry. So I just started. And how's it going? Well, I, I honestly, I put all my colors and whites together because okay. I'm not I do too. racist. And I, <laughs> uh, and I just wash it all on cold. And then I put it in the dryer, and then anything that shrinks or gets ruined, I just throw out. I don't care. Well, you know, it's a good way to continually force you to update your closet. Yes, thank you. Also, all my clothes are so cheap that it doesn't matter if anything gets destroyed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a guy invite me to a black tie event next week, and um, when he invited me, he goes, you probably need a dress, huh? Like, he just assumed I don't have anything to wear to that. And I was like, what? No, I, I totally have something. He was like, yeah, I'll send you money. <laughs> like, he knows I have nothing. So That's funny. Yeah. You know, I'm actually, I'm like your ex-husband. I like doing laundry. I, all, I just find it fascinating that you put dirty clothes in this machine and it comes out like clean and smelling good. <laughs> it just like it never that fascinates you. Never it stops fascinating. You're right. Me. You're it's, right. Well, you could also just stick it all in a bucket of like soapy water and shake it up and it would do this. I used to you know what I used to do? It wouldn't do the same thing. It wouldn't? I don't think so. I mean this I don't is no, I've never tried. You should I this is so ghetto, but I was just in um, I was just in Phoenix and I was staying in a condo there because sometimes comedy clubs, they'll put you up in a condo. Right. And I needed to do laundry and there was no laundry detergent in the condo, but there was a washing machine. So I uh, stuck all my dirty clothes in the dishwasher and I ran the dishwasher with my dirty clothes in it and it all came out clean. Really? Yeah. So in a pinch, you could just do that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I thought that was kind of interesting. It I've all washed, smelled good. I've washed toys in the dishwasher, but never. Um, interesting. Well, only, but the glass ones. You can't put like or anything like, with batteries in there because oh, obviously yeah. that will be. Yeah. My mom once ruined all my toys once because she got. So <laughs> <laughs> your mom. Okay. How old were you? Uh, well, no, this was. Th okay. So <laughs> you, you may not know, actually no. So Kate and I kind of don't really know each other. Actually. Not really. We met for like. 10 minutes yeah we met for like not even that you oh. were performing at it so i went to a comedy club with lisa ann and we went and saw kate perform and like lisa was raving about you and Aww. she was like she's so funny and we follow each other on social media and we're gonna go see her and we went and saw her and she was amazing Aww. she was super funny thank you so um you know i've been following her on social media ever since and then i started this podcast i'm like i would love to have kate on you know she'd be great i honestly thought you were gonna turn me down why? I don't know because I didn't think I was special enough. Oh, no I way. Really didn't. Yeah, I was You're like, just so cool. And Lisa Ann was so cool. And why not? If I have time, I'll do whatever. Thank you. <laughs> of course. So, so, um, so, yeah. So, Kate, so you probably don't know that my mom is a too. And that's how I got into the industry. Oh, no. Does she, is she a performer or a director? No, she was a director. Cool. So, oh, my God. That's hilarious. Yeah. Though. So, she was actually the first female staff photographer at Playboy. Back oh, wow. in 1974. Her name is Suze Randall. You can like Google her and whatever. That's awesome. And so her and my dad started a business and she became like one of the most famous erotic photographers like in the 70s, 80s and 90s. No way. Yeah. And so she's a really interesting story. The family business. Yeah. We're actually working on, um, I'm teaming up with some producers and we'll see if it happens. I usually don't like to talk about stuff that happens in Hollywood because most of it falls through, but we're actually working on a TV show about her life. Oh, cool. It's re My parents were swingers. They were like, their That'd stories are show. nuts. Like, yeah. Nuts. Oh, like, I bet. My parents worked at Hustler when Larry Flint got shot. Like all that shit. Wow. Yeah. What so a cool life. So anyway, so I got into this industry starting working for my parents. So I used to work for my mom. <laughs> and so I used to shoot for her and everything. We had a website. And um, so I shoot for my parents. And then I would, first I started assisting her on sets. And then. So wait a second. You grew up literally like on. 
sets as a child. Well, no, I didn't start working on porn sets until I was 20. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, they were shooting it when I was a kid. How much did you know? I always knew. You always knew? Always knew. Were you allowed to, like, wander on to the porn sets as a kid? No, 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 no. At what age did you get to see your first porn set? Um, when I was 20. Oh, okay. So they kept you away from it until you were 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they didn't want me, like... Well, that's kind of good. Yeah, I mean... They weren't, like, they were, you weren't, like, daycare. There wasn't, like, a daycare, like, a playpen on the corner of the... <laughs> Sat next no, so <laughs> apparently my mom was shooting for Playgirl once in the backyard when I was a toddler and I wandered off on, onto set. But I don't remember that. I was really young. Playgirl is the one with the hot guys in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. is that still around? I don't think so. I'd like so. to work for them. I'm putting out an offer. Playgirl, I'm available. <laughs> um, that's what I need in my life. I should have had you on set because I used to shoot for them. And <laughs> they would have to get hard, but it was them by themselves. And let me tell you, it's really hard to shoot a dude by himself hard without it looking gay. Like, it's very, very difficult. (laughs) Hey, guys. If you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind-the-scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.